All right, let's get into this whole Donald Trump bullshit because it's more bullshit. Yep. Donald Trump did say, I need one more uh-huh. indictment to uh-huh. put me over the top. Well, he got it. And there, the fourth indictment has now come down. They're, they're trying a new strategy. And if you don't think that Jack Smith, the special prosecutor, uh, tagged to Donald Trump, isn't involved in the latest Fulton County situation, think again. Right. Um, the, the DA in Fulton County, I'm trying to remember her name right now. It's somebody will tell it to me. You don't, uh, you, her name is Fanny Willis. Yeah. Fanny, uh, Fanny's full of shit. Fanny is, full Fanny of shit. is very politically motivated. Uh-huh. Fanny's a hardcore, deep liberal Democrat. Yes. I know what I said, Joe. Uh (laughs) Uh, she's trying to make a name for herself whether she wanted to or not whether she was tasked to the situation or not she's involved um she she's Mm -hmm. already shown us what she's about this Mm -hmm. lie this crap that they're throwing against the wall gets released on her website on the district attorney's website before it even went to the grand jury correct once again, there's not a fucking indictment anywhere right. that's going to turn Republicans and Trump supporters away. Democrats who already tra- hate Trump are not going to be moved by no. this anymore. No, this is all an attempt. And I don't, man, I don't. I think independents, if any, if they're doing anything, I disagree with some Democrat friends of mine. I think if anything, they would push more towards Trump. I think so than too. push away. This isn't about that. This is to stop him from running. Correct. They because they the see stage. they see the massive red wave coming. Yes. They see the Trump train doop, doop, rolling down the track, mm-hmm. crushing everything in its sight. And they're shocked. They're pissed. They're afraid. They're scared. And more than anything, their stomach just burns because they hate the man. Yes. They hate freedom. They hate everything that you're about. Mm-hmm. They hate patriots. They hate they hate giving up control. That's what this is all about. Yes. It's about Donald Trump trying to make America great again. And for all of his deficiencies, there's nobody better that could lead this country right now. And you know it. Give me one person who would be better. There isn't. There isn't. Even the people that have high hopes, they're not ready. And the people, who do the Democrats have? Nobody. They have nobody. No one. And they know it. They absolutely know it. They have no one. And as you said, the Trump train is going down the tracks and it's even picking uh, up steam. If you if you could imagine that. And in the midst of all, I mean, just think about all the breakdown here. So, we're, I mean, there's a lot to break down. Not only does this dumbass DA do this where it gets released on, her, uh, on their website before it even goes to the grand jury. The dumbass does it at 11 o'clock Eastern time when she's had two and a half years to do this. And I know I'm being hardcore, but this is total crap that's being played out. And the media just says, oh, yeah, we'll be there with a camera. We won't ask you any tough questions. Uh, She was asked if she's had any involvement with Jack Smith and she wouldn't confirm or deny. Mm -hmm. She just was mums the word there. So one, she's a liar Mm -hmm. and she wouldn't say two and they can say and two. And that would not hurt her investigation Two, it's released on the website first. So you already see this as an absolute joke. It's a lie. It's a farce. It's a game. It's whatever you want to say it is. And then it's now 19 people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All going to be tried at the same time. Racketeering charges uh-huh. and Rico charges. Now, Alan Dershowitz is amazing. He is an amazing attorney and educator. He breaks it down here. Here he was on with Hannity last night and just listen to this video with Alan Dershowitz explaining what she's doing, why she's trying to do this, and where this is trying to go. Because when he explained this, it all makes 100 perfect sense to me. Joel, go ahead and pop that up, and then you can hear from one of the best. Well, first of all, we should take it all seriously, the fact that there was a grand jury indictment. It means nothing. It's the prosecutor who indicted. The best evidence of that is that it was on his website before the grand jury even voted. Now, the whole strategy of all these four cases is to get a conviction before the election, even if they're going to lose on appeal. I used to teach my students, many of them future prosecutors, if you bring a RICO case, that increases your chances of winning a trial and losing on appeal. The same thing is true with conspiracy and other cases involving mental states. And so all four of these cases are designed to get quick, quick convictions 
in jurisdictions that are heavily loaded against Donald Trump. And these prosecutors don't care as much as prosecutors generally do about having the convictions reversed on appeal, because that will happen after the election, which only goes to prove what I've been arguing now for, for months. If you're going after the man who's running against your incumbent president, you would darn well better have the strongest case possible. And these are among the four, at least three of them, three weakest cases I've ever seen against any candidate. We don't know about the fourth, but it seems like it's very much like the D.C. case. And if you're going after the man running for president against your person, you have to have the strongest case. Otherwise, it becomes a banana republic. Anybody can prosecute anybody. And we're opening the door to prosecution of Democrats by Republicans, Republicans by Democrats. It's what Alexander Hamilton wrote in The Federalist is the most dangerous threat to democracy. And we're seeing it unfold in front of our eyes very, very tragically. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Trump supporter. But I care deeply about the Constitution. I care deeply about preserving the rule of law. And we're seeing it being frittered away for partisan political purposes. Let me yeah. OK, well said. Not a Trump supporter, not a conservative. And he is explaining it for you. What's going on? Every the Democrats know the deep state, the elites know that if there is a fair election, if Donald, even if there wasn't, that this country is behind Donald Trump. And if he doesn't get to run or if he runs for office and didn't win, there's going to be massive, massive hysteria here. There if he runs for hysteria. office and wins, they lose. Correct. They've got to stop him. And we've talked about that on this show. I've mm -hmm. talked about it. The whole key is to get Donald Trump to not run. Exactly. They're trying to use his resources. They're going to make trial dates the day of a rally. The good thing about that is they're going to make this live. They're going to make the trial live. And that is literally going to be good for his campaign. Not bad. It could be. Here's, And that's a good point you bring up. It's a state case. And since it's a state case, you can have television. Correct. Correct. And that's that's why this is happening. Yes. Every, the, we got to get him out. We got a bad mm -hmm. orange guy. We got to do whatever we can to make him look bad. That's what this is all about. Also, you had this smug, oh, just thug police guy going, well, in this state, we're going to take a mug shot. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, once again, they want the mug shot. Boy, they do. And I think they get it this time. You just continue to throw crap against a wall. Yes. Do what you can, as Dershowitz was talking about. Easy to maybe get a conviction in a RICO case. Uh-huh. Or I could turn it, knowing that you're going to lose on appeal. But it stops the Trump train, or at least tries. The attempt is to stop the Trump train from rolling down the track. The other portion is she wants this trial to start in February. Correct. And we don't know which of the four will start first. Um, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I laugh because they won't stop. And I told you on the show after the first one, you're going to see him over and, and over, over and, and over. over again. Yes. Because and all they have done is they have emboldened Donald Trump. They have. They have emboldened him. They have made his followers more apt to follow. They have strengthened the cause. Mm -hmm. And now this is only this is only. This is only strength, and they don't care. They're just doing what they can to stop them. They want them in prison. They want the mugshot. They're doing everything they can. And I'm sorry, nobody in their right mind would go through the crap no. that Donald Trump has. And they started the bullshit on the first day of when he was sworn in. Something bad is going on, and I do believe, and you can call me crazy, and I've ripped Trump on this show too, he is standing in the way of them coming after us. Correct, correct. And the only part that I'm concerned about, I think that this is a nothing burger. I pray it doesn't stick. But I had heard a professor out of New York, and I believe it was called Turo University, says the reason why they're trying him in state, even though they're federal charges, is because if they do put him in jail, he has to stay there. Him or anyone of the 19 that are convicted of this have to stay in jail for five years without a pardon. He's not going to jail. Well, I hope he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I hope he doesn't. Because it also brings up another situation of a president being guarded by Secret Service 24-7. Yeah, what would they do? Not the let him have lives. Secret Service There, there are so many aspects to this whole case. It's 
once again, it's a big hoopla distraction as we try to educate people on this show. People can hate Trump all they want. Mm-hmm. It, they can yell. It's it, it's a sideshow. It's the circus. It's all of these things. Unfortunately, we can talk about it being a sideshow circus. But if you don't think that it will affect you at some point in time, do you like how life's going? Is no. your life better than it no, was a no. few years ago? Uh, how are your bank accounts? Are we really in a better situation in America under Joe Biden? who, by the way, has done shit for Hawaii. Um, you know what? Can we can we play? This is some people's commander in chief. I mean, being asked about Hawaii. I mean, he is the guy. It's just, there's nobody running our damn country. And that's why our country sucks right now, because you have somebody like Joe Biden. Listen here. here he, he's asked if he's going to have a comment on Maui. the Hawaii response, Mr. President? Uh, nothing there. And he smiled. Oh, my gosh. I want to call him. There's a hundred freaking people oh. dead, you dumbass. I mean, okay. Yes, I'm glad you called him a dumbass. I know. I'm, I'm He's in it today. I'm sorry. I should, dumb- no, I'm, but you're right. I'm That's so what, frustrated. Me too. He is an evil, heartless dumbass, whether it's Biden 1, Biden 2. Whether or not the government did Hawaii or however it happened, where the hell are you, the commander in chief? You smile like an a-hole and then you get in there and you ride your little bike in Delaware. He is an awful human being. I said it. Every Democrat, you can come after me. Mm. Defend that bullshit. That is ridiculous. Chris says Donald Trump gets in. If he doesn't go scorched earth on these people, this country will be lost. Uh The rod is too deep to just remove a few pieces. And. You know, people can say we're we're crazy for saying what we're saying. Thanks for running that, Joe. But the bottom line is you see what they're trying to do to Donald Trump. Can we show the timeline? We're talking about four indictments in 2020. <laughs> four. Four. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of crap. Anything and everything to stop Donald Trump. Yet there are people, I just hate him so much. Anybody but Donald Trump. Any really? Really? Uh-huh. Who else instead of Donald Trump? Really? April 4th, indicted by the Manhattan DA. Joke. Two months later, June 13th, Trump indicted Miami federal classified docs probe. Total joke. August 1st, a couple months later, Trump indicted in D.C. federal election probe. Of course, let's see what we can throw in. Mm -hmm. August 14th, of course, Trump indicted by the Fulton County DA. And by the way, in Fulton County, (laughs) you want to talk about one of the most Democrat Right places in all America. They've only voted for a Republican twice. The last time was 1972 Republican presidential candidate, 1972. That's it. Fulton County, Georgia is all liberal. So now you get an idea when you see what's going on, why the DA is doing what she is doing. Uh, Weak ass as Alan Dershowitz just said, I'm not a conservative. I'm not a Trump supporter, but th- this is, he just told you it's a joke. Um, spread the word. It's a joke. Um, be polite, but you'll see people. Oh, Trump, 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 Trump. Mm-hmm. I think the more that they throw, I don't realize that Democrats and supporters of Democrats realize just what they're doing and how silly and stupid they uh-huh. look. It's like, oh my God, we can't get him here. We're going to try something else. We can't get him here. Mm-hmm. Let's try something else. Yes. I mean, they look absolutely ridiculous. They look like the very thing they call us Trump supporters is like white, ugly rednecks. That's what they look like. They look like they absolutely don't know what they're doing. They're uneducated. They're stupid. And they're just vengeful and scared like little mice running around. They look ridiculous. And speaking of Fulton County, have you been there recently? I've never been. To, well, I've driven through Fulton County, it but it's been like 20 years. crime ridden, infested hellhole. And when she was on TV The DA is another Kim Gardner. That's exactly right. <laughs> I said that last night when I'm watching. I'm like, she even makes the same mannerisms. I mean, they're not very smart. Kim Gardner's situation, I mean, from a professional standpoint, I don't know her personally. Well, well, that's what I'm talking about, too. I don't know either one of these women um, at all. But if you look at how they got some donation money, they both got money from Soros. So that is something that I've researched. Their campaigns and their, oh, what do you want to call it? Their, their little funds, their little pocket of money. They've got Soros money. Both of them did. Um, well, Trump's campaign came out with a post yesterday, too. We'll show you that. They had a statement yes. regarding what was going on, all the stuff that was going on. Um, they're, they're totally 
one hundred percent against this. They'll fight it. They they say what we've been saying. They said the Fulton County District Attorney's Office has once again shown that they have no respect for the integrity of the grand jury process. This was not a simple administrative mistake. This talking about the release on their website before this even went to the grand jury. This whole situation is an absolute farce. They said, yet it somehow made its way to the clerk's office and was signed a case number and a judge before the grand jury even deliberated. So not one local TV news station, not one nationals TV news station, news station should even do the story without saying that line. They shouldn't. Mm -mm. The Trump team goes on to say this was emblematic of the pervasive and glaring constitutional violations which have plagued this case from its very inception. And it won't. And something else will come. If these don't work, something else will come. It will go all the way up to the election. And it started the day that Donald J. Trump was sworn in as president of the United States. It's not going to stop. There is a mission. There is an action because he knows things and he is stopping things. And as he said, he's standing in the way. And as much ego and pride as that man has, he could be living a much better life. Absolutely. He has nothing to gain by being nope. president. He, you're right. He has nothing to gain. And something that you said that started when he got elected, this actually started before he even came down the elevator. As soon as he, there was even an inkling he was going to run, they've been after him and spying on him and treating him like crap and demeaning him and already being on every social media platform talking about him. This has been going on for too long. Yeah. And we run a scroll at the bottom of our screen, defendtrump.org. Once again, defendtrump.org. You can go there. You can sign up. You can sign the uh, action that we have the call to action, so to speak, that would certainly help. Uh, and we get that out there as well. Pam says, where are the constitutional lawyers? Pam, just put it this way. I feel as if Donald Trump knows this is coming. I knew, I, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that mm -hmm. he was kind of saying, well, all I need is one more, one more indictment mm -hmm. and it'll put me off. Because I think that they know behind the scenes. There's, Absolutely. Much of this plays out before we, the public even know. Correct. Just Correct. like movies. I'm serious. Yes. I, I there's a lot of things that go on. We find out at the very end what people want us to know. Correct. Um, Reuters said, yeah, Reuters caught the grand jury indictment posted way before they were even convened for a vote. Um, we already know it's the same thing that happened in the Manhattan case. They go to a grand jury in an all liberal area and it doesn't take much. As they always say, you can, quote, go after a ham sandwich. You can indict a ham sandwich. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to see that happen as well. Uh, yeah, Angie, you can sign it. Just go to defendtrump.org. Defendtrump.org. Uh, Pam also says, very true, Vic. We know it's coming. The problem that we have here is when you break down all the evidence, once again, each of these indictments, it's dirty. It doesn't add up. It's They, they know they're not going to get anything. It's all about making the man look bad. As Lizzie said earlier, taking funds away, not allowing him to be out campaigning as much to stop him, which shows you what you need to know. Yeah, it tells you everything that you He's need to know. He's by far the best man for the job, whether you like him or not, whether you agree with him or not, uh, whether you like his personality or not. Mm -hmm. There's a reason that people are going after Donald Trump so hard. And this time, including 18 others, 19 yes. total people. I mean, it, it's, we're talking about dumbass charges. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. including solicitation of violation of oath by a public officer because they're questioning an election. Look what Hillary Clinton did after 2016. Right? 10 times worse. I mean, 10 times worse than anything Donald Trump did. And there's video evidence of it. But of course, the deep state won't go after Hillary Clinton. And we know why. Um, violation of oath by a public officer, conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree more. Give me a break. Oh, yeah. We're going to go after the chief of staff, Mark Meadows. We're going to go after Rudy Giuliani, Ginny Ellis, uh, Jeff Clark, more charge because we're trying to cause as many problems as we possibly can. Um, and this gets back to because Trump insisted during a phone call with Georgia's secretary of state that he had won the state of Georgia following the 2020 election because there were so many issues as we saw there. The same sort of issues that we saw in Arizona with Kerry Lake, but of course media doesn't want to cover it because it's easy. We want to collect our checks. We don't want to go out and really try to find the things that we need to find. Trump did urge him to find enough votes to reverse the state's results. And that's where this all goes from. Um, and, and then of course, 
the left is grandstanding this mm -hmm. on the heels again of everything that's happening with Joe Biden, with Hunter Biden, with evidence. And every time the House Oversight Committee comes out with something on the Bidens, the Trump yes. train takes a shot, but it keeps on rolling. And then really MSNBC and all of their evil is going to bring on Hillary Clinton to talk about justice working. Wow, I saw that. <laughs> and her face was pure evil. And Jessica said something on the chat line that she used to think the devil was fictitious. All you had to do yesterday was watch Hillary Clinton's face talking to Rachel Maddow, and you knew the devil lives. The devil was on, I, I think, both of them. Yes, no, both I'm sorry. of them. I it shouldn't was have said that. No, no. Oh, well, it's, <laughs> you know what? The devil, maybe they're not exactly the devil, but they are definitely influenced by evil, which is Satan. Their faces were so dark and so evil. And don't take my word for it. After the show, go and look at that clip. It was just, it gave me chills up my back, knowing that evil really does dwell among us. And a lot of people who even were Christians have thought, you know, okay, I know that's Satan, but he's down in a hole down there with a red face. No, evil is roaming our earth. And there are people like Hillary. They well, are evil. evil. Well, regardless of that entire situation, who else besides Trump to run this country? Really? No one. There isn't no anybody. One. There's I mean, great people on. that'll come up. And there, there's they're not ready yet. Close. No, not to take on this deep <laughs> swamp. I mean, and we're, we're continuing to see this stuff. Remember, deep breath. It's another distraction. Destroy Trump as best as we can. We can't have him run. This whole situation is about Trump not running. Jack Smith fails in his job as a special prosecutor if, if he can't stop Trump from running. If Trump runs, the left loses and it's mm -hmm. end of story. Mm -hmm. And it's end of line for those people who are doing the crap that they're doing. Jack Smith is in coordination with every one of these DAs Correct. around the country. It's a coordinated effort that's ongoing because they can't stop Donald Trump. And guess why they can't stop Donald Trump? Because of you. Yes. Because, because of, of the, the viewers. People. Because mm -hmm. of the people that continue to go out and support him because there's nobody else on the Republican side nope. that has a shot. And Republicans know this. They know it. I mean, Ron DeSantis's team was waving the white flag. Correct. Republicans know. They're not even running many ads. No. I mean, I saw an ad for Perry Johnson. Who? Perry Johnson on Fox this morning. <laughs> He's throwing an ad. It's like, what? And who? Who? I mean, it, it's, I mean, literally, that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Stop Trump from running. Yes. If they can, then they win. If they don't, they lose. And that's why it's an all out assault on this man, Correct. his family, his reputation. Yet he still fights the good fight. Yeah. That's why I try to find, it's like, I've gained a lot more respect for Trump in this. I know who he is and he's not going to change because there were times where he really pissed me off by how he acted. And I'm sorry, but the whole presidential thing has gone out the window and imagine being treated day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out by people, by media, by deep state. And you're supposed to be perfect all the time. I'm starting to understand it a little more. Uh, do I wish there was somebody that might have talked better or, or, or been very president? Sure. But well, that's it, but it's an act. Yeah, it is. And you are exactly and like most real. people. They didn't like the tweeting. They liked his policies and they didn't like his, you know, counter punching and all of that. I was on the other extreme. I love every bit of his <laughs> boldness, his tweeting, his getting out there because we played nice. E e you know, even the Bushes act like they were nice. Even Ronald Reagan it was such a wonderful speaker and I loved it. We can't have this. It, just as I said, evil is among us. And if we don't come out counter punching and tweeting and doing all those things, we have no country. So he's got to act like that. We can't act presidential anymore. And, and some days I only wish it only because people like yourself and others would wish he would be more presidential. You know what? Who gives a frick? Just, you know, come out and tweet and write things. And we've got to take our country back. And these soft people, they're probably not getting out of their basement and voting anyway. I don't know what is going to happen, where this is all going to go, but I can tell you the situation that's happening now. It, it made me sick to see it happen again. I'm not surprised. But I can tell you there are Democrats who revel. Oh, yeah, they're going after. But there are people who just they eat up that MSNBC. They mm -hmm, eat up the stuff. Do. They just give me some more. Give me some more. Oh, I hate Trump so bad. Give me some more. Give me some more. And they don't even realize they're burning themselves in their own 
pot of water. Mm -hmm. They're burning, they're boiling themselves, and they don't even get it. So uh, just keep in mind, this is what's happening. It's not going to stop. It's going to continue to be the massive distraction so that Trump can't, I repeat, so that Trump can't run for office Correct. for a fourth time. He does have lawyers on his side. He does have constitutional lawyers. They know what's coming. Um, I remember Robert Peterball jumping on here saying, well, maybe Trump's a part of it. God, I hope he's not a part of it because then we would all be in trouble and nobody would go through this kind of hell for this. There's no way. Uh, there is a difference. The DOJ does not treat Republicans the same way that they treat Democrats. We have now started to see it, which is why you've just got to keep, if you are the House Oversight Committee, keep pumping that information out about the Bidens, about the crime family, about Hunter. And then hopefully somehow, some way our country doesn't fall into more of an abyss as we're already seeing, uh, you know, billions of hundreds of billions of dollars more trying to go to Ukraine when we won't even go, send it to Maui. What did you see the, that Biden was? Oh, wait, we're going to give each family. I think it was like seven hundred dollars. Uh huh. Seven hundred fifty, I think, to be exact. What the hell are you going to do with that? You can buy one thing of groceries. For your family for not even a month. 700. You need to rebuild freaking Maui is what you need to do. Right. Right. And for Maui, the people who live there. Yeah. Unreal. Not rebuild Ukraine. Ugh. And once again, all you have to do is look at all the videos of Ukraine. I'm telling you, yeah, there are a couple of war places. Ukraine is doing just fine. Just fine. And so is Zelensky. This is cancel this. Cancel the show.com. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.